New Hampshire continues to grapple with the opioid crisis. Those in the foster care system say it's crucial to find more safe and loving homes for children who've lost parents to addiction. Joining us live now are Stephanie Sullivan and Beth Mitchell. They're holding a foster parent recruitment event. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. First of all, talk about the need that's here for children that have gone through this, that have been affected by it. Sure, there's about 1,200 children in out-of-home placement, and currently we have about 450 children, uh, excuse me, licensed foster homes um, for those children. So we do need more foster homes in um, local areas so that the transition for the children is um, less. Mm -hmm. So more of like a seamless approach. You know, we found that um, children will incur less trauma if they're able to stay in their school district, if they're able to stay in their daycare, if they're able to stay in the community where they're where they were raised. And you have two events coming up. Talk to me about what these events entail. If people are planning on heading down, what will it be like? Sure, so we have two events on Friday, February 17th. That's our first one. That's going to be held at Granite State College on Amherst Street in Nashua. Um, and then we have one on February 19th, which is a Sunday, and that's at River of Life in Amherst, New Hampshire. And the goal of these events is to have, um, we'll have foster parents from various walks of life that will join us. We actually have two children that went through the system and okay. now are adults that will also come and share their stories. We want folks to see that this is attainable and that really almost anyone can foster if they have a heart for it. And what is it like going through the vetting process to become a foster parent? So there are requirements that you have to you know, follow. There's criminal records checks, um, things like that. Um, but this event is going to answer those questions for you and give you all that information. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's very rewarding as well. Oh, it is. I've been a foster parent now for nine years, and it's been quite a journey. There's a lot of ups and downs, but for the most part, it's so rewarding. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So people can head to either of those events yes. free of charge or anything like free that? Free of charge. We'll have some snacks. We'll have a few teens there that can help wrangle the kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, but really what our heart is, we want to show all aspects of the system and how they work together. Um, because I think it's pretty scary when you're anticipating, well, I think I'd like to be a foster parent, but what does that exactly sure. look like? All right, Beth, mm -hmm. Stephanie, thank you both so much for being here and thank you for your time. Again, those events will be held February 17th from 6 to 8 at Granite State College in Nashua and February 19th from 2 to 4 at River of Life Church in Amherst.